You know what, I'm, I'm trying not to woo. What's going on people? It is Scott from Rebellious Noise and today we're doing something a little bit different. As you might be able to tell from the setup and from the title, today we are doing a little bit of wrestling with a little bit of fashion. As you know, we cover wrestling as well as a wide range of things here at Rebellious Noise. So subscribe and check out more of our content because I'm sure you like something. Uh, today, like I said, I'm not usually doing fashion stuff, but uh, I feel like uh, I want to talk about these shoes because it is the Adidas Dame 7 Ric Flair collaboration. Just a little note there. I will be saying Adidas on account of the bloke's name being Adidasler and uh, you know them being a German company and all that. So sorry, no Adidas here today, but I hope that don't make you click off and uh, yeah, check out what we've got in store. So, um, my brother got me these for Christmas. Shout out to my brother, thanks very much. Obviously you might be thinking it's not Christmas. That's right, because uh, what's going on in the world lately has meant everything has slowed down. So I've only recently just got this delivery, it took about a month to get it. Royal Mail, track 24. 24 24 hours mate nah <laughs> not even 24 days we've got a lot going on in the world today you know so things are taking long you know from adidas sides and real mouth but what i don't like what i've noticed just before i've done this video is the box is open so i, I don't know i think i mean i've heard i've heard stuff in the past about it being like treason against the against the queen and stuff because it's, it's royal and you're intercepting it i don't know if that's true but either way i might have to get in touch with real mouth because man look at that Hey, good. So um, this might go wrong. There might have been no shoes in this box. I haven't opened it yet. This is literally an unboxing. And uh, we're gonna go through what the shoes are like if they're in there and a little bit of a first impression and a review. So let's have a look. Stick it on there. As you might be able to tell, uh, obviously some wrestling stuff down there. Um, we've gone for some WCW themed stuff. I thought that'd be quite appropriate. You know, I've seen this Ric Flair's, you know, the big bulk of his career is an NWA, WCW kind of guy. Um, right, let's have a look at the Dame Sevens then. Ric Flair colorway. Now there's two of these, as you might be aware. There's a blue one, which I think a bit bland, to be honest. If they had this kind of pattern on, I might even like them even more, but they don't. Now, I've seen what these look like online, obviously. It's not my usual kind of shoe, to be fair. The style of shoe, it's a bit out there for me, to be honest, the pattern. But, you know, it's Ric Flair. You've got a, you got a, if you have a Ric Flair shoe, it's got to look like Ric Flair related stuff. And obviously, this is like his robe. Legit first impressions. All right, there we go. Some uh, tissue paper on the top. Added that. All right, there we go. Look at that. I said it was out there. Seeing it in person. It is out there. Okay. Hey, look at that. Okay, let's get the second one out. You know, I don't know why. Do I need to hold two? I don't know, I've done one of these before. Um, there we go. Two of them. So, right, straight after that, you can see right there, you get the Ric Flair silhouette, uh, posing, arm stretched out, probably doing a, a Mania entrance. Reminds me of that grand one at Mania 24. Obviously, his, his last match, sort of. You know. um, but yeah. I like that. On there, you got the Dame logo. Now, obviously, uh, Damian Lillard, he is a big wrestling fan. It's as well documented. Everybody seems to know that now. And uh, yeah, I just feel like this is the perfect collaboration, to be honest. I mean, in the past few years, Ric Flair's really embraced kind of this new kind of found kind of respect that he's got from fashion and urban culture and stuff like that, which I think is great. You know, obviously, a few years ago, the Offset track, Ric Flair Drip, Flair was in a music video. He really embraces all that and why would you not? It's almost like a second kind of wave of his career to be fair, which is great, you know. He's a legend in WWE, he's a legend in the wrestling world in general. And now obviously he's a legend in, in pop culture. Speaking of Ric Flair Drip, we've got King of Drip right there. Again, another thing, Flair never said that. That was never part of his vocabulary. But now, nah, Ric Flair Drip, baby. He's saying it all the time. So, yeah, first impressions though, man. Like, I, I really like these really like him like like i said i don't usually like those kind of out there shoes but yeah i mean i think it's going to be a special occasion thing you know i know some people were like other reviews and that they're talking about yeah i'm trying sure i'm in a call i don't play basketball mate um throwing a sh shot a few hoops in my time but uh not regularly oh oh scott got skilled Anyway, but yeah, I mean, I, special occasion, I don't know, what, what would, WrestleMania maybe, I might wear this for WrestleMania. Uh, <laughs> again, if you like wrestling, check out more of our wrestling content, we're covering, obviously, this year's WrestleMania as well, like we do all the WWE pay-per-views on this channel. 
But um, yeah, man, I, like, oh, thanks to my brother again. Shout out, like, these are really nice. I see the color. Like, I, again, I was saying, I, I, I thought I'd be more interested in, in the blue with the robe kind of design. But looking at it, like, the white and gold's good. Like, it's, it's really nice. Look at the detail in it. We'll get some close up shots as well. So, you've got a Ric Flair, obviously, on the back. And then on the inside, don't know why I picked up the up shoes on both. So beat a man, you've got to beat the man. So yeah, I mean overall, first impressions, like I'm I'm impressed. Obviously I haven't worn them yet to see how comfortable they are. But uh yeah, how, how comfortable I am in wearing such a kind of outlandish kind of shoe for, for my usual kind of dressing. But yeah, I'm I'm a fan. I know it's not that, but uh that looks like a a ring post and three ropes, I, I appreciate that. And look at that, it's the road that inspired them. One thing I don't like though, when you look at the website and it said um, the different kind of fits and stuff, like if you're Adidas, yeah, surely all Adidas should be measured the same. I don't understand that, but they literally put snug fit, so I'm really hoping this is gonna be all right, because it was like, yeah, order a size bigger. I, just, I didn't tell my brother to do that. So hopefully it's gonna be a right fit, but yeah, really, really like this, I mean, it is a bit out there compared to the stuff I usually like to wear my place I make, but saying that, sometimes I do quite fancy myself as a limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, son of a gun. Don't worry, I'm trying not to woo, because it's, conta it's contagious, because like, I don't know if you've ever been to a wrestling event, but like, if you start doing it in the arena, for example, stuff there, then there. It's great, it's great fun, don't get me wrong, before the chops even hit, before the wrestlers even come out, people start playing all through the corridors into, into the arena and stuff like that. It's exciting, but it is contagious, as, as you can tell. So, yeah, try not to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm mixing, mix them all. Yeah, try not to. I won't do it. No, I won't do it, I won't do it. But these are great shoes. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, is this the kind of shoe you'd wear uh, compared to the other Dame Sevens? Does it rank highly? Uh, and, and just shoes in general. I mean, I think they're really nice. Adidas, Damian Lillard, and Ric Flair. Great collaboration. I think they've done well in this. It's uh, yeah, great pair of woos. Shoes. Nearly did it. Woo! Might as well do it now. If you like this video, make sure you let us know by subscribing, liking it, sharing it out to your friends and stuff like that. Like I said, we do more wrestling content and a whole load of other content as well. So I'm sure there'll be something else on the channel that you hopefully like as well. Please subscribe. And yeah, we might do some more of this. Let us know if, uh, if, you, if you like this kind of content. And because uh, I've got some other shoes coming as well that I think uh, will be uh, a nice way to link it in with the rest of the stuff on the channel. I don't know what that was, some sort of snake. Anyway. Gonna go get my Ric Flair drift one.